In today's show, I'm going to talk about Power Apps resetting a gallery, and then just play with galleries a little bit and talk about like selecting records and how to control that as well, because I got a couple little tricks up my sleeves I want to share. But first, here's our intro! Hi, my name is Shane Young with Power Apps 911. Those guys! And today, we're going to talk about resetting a gallery, and as part of that, we're also going to kind of re-go over the var record mentality of using that instead of the selected and is selected properties of galleries because they get you in trouble a lot of times. So to really do what we want to do here, we're going to take advantage of those. Sound like fun? I thought so. Let's just switch over to my desktop and take a look. Here on my desktop, I've done a couple of quick little things. Right? I threw my header in, I threw a gallery, and then I threw a single form and I just connected that form up to the data source employees, right? which is the same list as the data source here and the item is to gallery1.selected, right? Pretty typical design you guys do a lot. And so what I wanna talk about though, right, the main goal here is talking about resetting the gallery, right? Getting someone back to the gallery, getting rid of the selected record, like getting back to a neutral, nothing has happened. So the first thing I wanna do is kind of add one more thing that a lot of people do. And so over here, they go to template fill and they're like, hey, I know that if I say if, this item dot is selected, right? That's that mat, not is folder, is selected. That's that magical property that tells you true or false whether or not it's selected. If it's selected, make it blue. And if not, make it white. And so then now you can see that Nicola's is the selected record. And if I was to choose Chewy's record, we got the blue, right? This is, this is just a way that people use to like know which record they've selected over here, okay? I don't want you to use this thing, but we'll talk about that in a second. So one of the things people want to be able to do though is go down here and be like, hey, I selected Ferguson and now I want the ability to reset a gallery. Well, this is actually way easier than you probably thought. So if you say insert a button over here and so what you can just do is the gallery is a resettable control. So we can use the reset function and say reset gallery one. And now if we press this button, it will reset the gallery. It takes us back to the top, which is what you wanted. So we got the first thing but it selects Nicola's record because it's the first record in there. So over here on the right, right, we've got that. So we were selected on Daniel, right? This is Daniel's record right there. And so if we say button, it resets and it goes to Nicola. But a lot of times you find yourself saying, well, no, Shane, I don't want to select the top one. I truly want to say reset back to no one is selected. Fair enough. So what I want you to do is go right here. So your little arrow for selecting, or in this case, it selects the parent, right? So we're going to click on our gallery over here. That's the parent. And so we're going to say on select, what I want you to do is not false, is I want you to create a variable. I want you to say set var record this item. This will create a record variable that is the current record, right? So this will be replace our friend this, this selected. So if we click on this and we click on Shane, right? We can see Shane's over here. But that's because my form right now is using item gallery selected. Gallery selected, bad. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, I want you to use var record. So when we say use var record, it also gets Shane. Right? And if we click around, like if we go down here to Daniel, it jumps to Daniel, we go to Fausto, right? All right, so everything works exactly the way it did before, but now instead of using gallery.selected, we're using var record, okay? So we're connecting the dots that way. So the other part of this trick though, is the template fill. So I don't want to use is selected here either. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, hey, if this item dot ID, right? So some type of unique identifier in your data set, they've all got it. So in this case of a SharePoint list, it's ID. If this item ID equals var record dot ID, look at that. So Fausto is now blue. And if we click over here on Jennifer, Jennifer shows up over here and Jennifer is blue. We're getting what we want. Now what's confusing though, is if we reset now, Nicola is at the top, so we got back to the top, but Jennifer is still selected. So then all you have to do is you go here to your little on select and say, hey, before I reset the gallery, what I wanna do is I want to say set var record, not var p, var record to be blank. Boom, 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 like so. And so then now when you press it, no one is blue and there is no item to display over here because there is no selected record. There's nothing in var record. Now we choose Rachel and we're right back and running. Oh, now we'll go down here to Quentin and his Superman picture. 
Looks good. Reset everything. Back to nothing. If you want to be super complete, what you also might do here with the form is to say, hey, visible, or sorry, for, uh, var oh, form. I want your visible property to be um, not is blank var record. So I want the form to be visible if it's not um, there. So right now it's not there. We choose me, it shows up, very cool. We reset, it goes away. And then just for fun, maybe we'll have a, another little message down here and we'll say, hey, um, you know, please select a record to get started. Awesome, we'll do something like this. We'll make it bigger, we'll make it like 24 point and semi-bold, well, I don't know, I'm just making things up, folks. There we go, we'll kind of throw this in the middle somewhere. And so then we just say, hey, for you, your visible property is, is blank var record. Boom. So there you go. So now we're in good shape. Oh, you know what? I found a person I was looking for, looking for Steven. Awesome. We reset. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So one of the things I would really love to instill upon you, like we've shown this in a few different videos, but on select using var record, this item is a universal way to keep yourself out of trouble. Using gallery.selected opens you up to all these little fringe scenarios where the gallery can get refreshed while you still expected it to be selected and you're counting on something still being clicked on another screen. That always scares me. So I never use gallery.selected, I always use far record this item, then it makes things like making these template colors, right? We, we showed you how to recreate that, showed how to use it with a form, we could use it with a patch, right? We haven't broken anything. Just everywhere now that you would have used gallery.selected, you use var record, one for one, same exact thing, and you don't have to worry about var record changing until something like this, where you clicked on the button, you said, hey, I want var record to be blank. I want to change it. So there you go. That's my fun for the day. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions, comments, leave them below. Also remember, you know, if you got ideas for future videos like this, you want to see little quick snippets, little jumps in there like this. I love these videos, right? Can I just crank these out right now? Yeah. Hey, if we can do anything to help, reach out to us over at Power Apps 911. And for goodness sakes, hit the subscribe button, folks. I got to get to 100,000 and people like you forgetting to subscribe is holding me down. Whatever. All right. With that, I'm going to say thanks and have a great day. Before you go, be sure to click on the subscribe button over here so that way you'll be notified when new videos come out. If you need any help or you want to work together, whether your problem is big or small, check us out at Power Apps 911. We do it all. I rhymed. Or if you're looking for more formal training offerings, we have those linked up here somewhere. So check them out. Thanks and have a great day.